to die at first and then what you get in a good angle. Right, welcome back to my YouTube. Thank you for joining us. I sound like I'm on a TV show. Um, so today is a push session. I haven't filmed a push for a while. Um, I think the last time I filmed a push was actually with Carl and we did um, female for push explained oh, yeah. and why it's important to, to train push the female whether you're a competitor or not. So today we're going to go into how to maintain strength or at least feel like you're progressing even when in a deficit. So obviously I'm in a large deficit compared to when I first started prep. It's like 2,000 calories less than when I first started, so obviously a big deficit for me. Um, and push is the first kind of session to go a little bit weaker, which is normal. My joints are so small, like I don't think that until someone sees me in the flesh that they actually realise how small I am, because I am a very small human um, who's obviously trying to pack a lot of size onto a really small frame. So. Obviously push is one of the first sessions that goes for me and yeah, I'm just going to try and explain to you how I still work with seeing my sessions as progressive even without so much saying my reps and numbers are up just by adding in certain things to obviously still see as being progression. So I'm going to go through that as you go through the session. Um, we're going to start off with doing some of our mobility stuff, obviously keeping our body nice and firing, making sure that everything's working and in a good synergy, uh, ready for the session. So that's what we're going to do first and then we're going to move into the low incline smith press as the first exercise and then everything else we'll just move on to after that. But I'll do a little bit of a prep update as well, afterwards as well, but I'll not bore you with too much talking. I'm gonna well. <laughs> Cooper and Mark put a lot of weight on and I don't so it's easier not to keep taking them on and off if I just kind of go on my own and it means that we're not having to wait three people when we're doing push as well because when you're doing push and it takes a long time it's a bit annoying so I come on my own for this one which is actually quite nice I like to train on my own for times it is really nice um, so when it comes to pressing and pushing when in a deficit obviously a female unless you're in, I don't know, some kind of monstrous person. When you get lean, it's inevitable that push will get a little bit less strong. So there's a couple of things that I actually do. Obviously we standardize it where we add some dead stops or pause at the bottom, meaning that that becomes a new stimulus that then we can now progress from that. So 
we've added a little bit of a pause to my top set on there. I actually just got the same weight and reps as I did last time, even with adding the slight pause at the bottom. So I'm actually very happy with that set. I'm um, going to move on to this one now, and because this machine within the range of motion allows me to dead stop, I'm going to dead stop at the bottom, meaning that range of motion stays perfect, control has to stay perfect, otherwise you bounce it out of the bottom, and it means that I can progress from here now that we've got a dead stop, rather than doing it as kind of a continuous motion. So, that's one way to actually standardise things and continue the progression when you're in the breath. That's, it. Okay. That's, that's, that's the, the most weight I've ever done. I know it's really weak compared to most people. But that's the most weight I've ever done. And I'm the leanest I ever have been at nine weeks out. Eight weeks out. So, yeah. Fair fucks, guys. Fair yeah. fucks. We'll just put 20 on top then.
stronger with that for a, a little bit of time before that becomes kind of where you start to rest and then we'll try and switch up something else but, um, and then obviously we did the incline press where I did a pause at the bottom which I got the same rep so it was a progression on like another level so I'm happy with that so now we're moving on to some isolation stuff with our push sessions now we actually do obviously pretty much all upper line here plus biceps and then back onto the deltoid again. So I'm going to do the bicep overhead curl now, looking for a two second pause in the deep contraction. Again, makes it a little bit harder and stops us from putting loads of weight on the stack and throwing it around. It's got to be nice, slow and controlled and that will help me keep my muscle. Last year, I trained like an absolute dickhead. Like, I'll say it and I'll put my hands up to it. I trained like a dickhead and I didn't do any of this and I lost a lot of muscle. Um, I mean, like, I wasn't big to start with, but like, I'm a lot bigger now. But the way that I train now will allow me to hold on to muscle much more than what I did do last year. So learn from my mistakes and don't do what I did.
watching my video i hope that you found it useful me going through that i know that but a lot of people are in prep right now because obviously we had the pandemic it stopped a lot of the shows especially in the uk i can imagine that like 75 percent of the uk bodybuilding population is probably on prep right now so if you're female and you watched it i hope that it's helped you i mean you can do all of those things across all different sessions whatever it is that you train upper lower glutes hams push pull legs whatever it is that you do for your split you can obviously put those things in there just make a movement harder without needing to add more weight because more times than not when you're trying to add weight and the drive's just not in there because you've gotten leaner like sometimes it does come to mental resilience like are you just being a bit of a pussy but most of the time when you can train properly you, you do realize that you're giving that drive and it's just not there so adding in little things like that what i've just gone through can really help you continue to progress but keep that form so perfect until help hold on to that muscle anyway i'm going to stop rambling i am nine eight weeks out now and ready as ever to do my competition definitely much leaner this point out than what i was last year so exciting times we'll go and see what will happen what will be will be